Welcome back guys, in this video I will be comparing the gaming performance of Windows 11 and Bazite operating system in Doom the Dark Ages running on my ROG LF. I will be playing through the exact same sequence on both of these platforms. We will be running the game using the same settings. On Windows I will be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. It's not compatible with Linux. So I will be running the Battle.net version of the game on Linux. It's included with PC Game Pass subscription. Before jumping into the gameplay, would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until a subscription expires. Games from first party Microsoft Studio and even third party studios are included with PC Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included. First, I'll be running the game on Bazite. This is the system info section. Bazite version. I have set the UMA buffer size to auto video driver AMD RA TV 25.1.0 show you the handheld daemon settings advanced TDP set to 27 watts the actual power draw for the APU will be slightly higher than the value which we set here this can be verified from the performance overlay on windows I will be using the 28 watts profile TDP boost disable using a very aggressive hand curve CPU power set to low CPU boost disable GPU frequency set to auto connected my cosmic by Stellaris gamepad to ally via bluetooth mode next input controller for battle.net I am using G Proton version 10 3 as the compatibility layer client started start doom from here this game uses Vulkan API it's the first doom title which is fully ray trace and this makes the game very heavy on the GPU this is why the game does not run at 60 fps on raw galai a ray tracing capable GPU is required to run this game performance QM settings overlay level set to 3 VRR enable frame limit set to 120 in game settings 720p resolution full screen mode refresh rate 120 vsync disabled present from compute setting on Chromatic aberration depth of field disabled. Frame gain set to nil. Using XCSS upscaler it's version 2. Using its quality preset. Motion blur disabled. Texture pool size set to 2048. Estimated VRAM usage 5.8 GB. Everything set to low. First, we have a cutscene. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Thirty-two to forty FPS, hitting the GP bottleneck here, and jump into the gameplay. Load the seventh chapter. We are in. I need to defend this area. Use the turret. Demons will spawn the moment I man the turret. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. We'll rip through the demons. And they are using their abilities. 40 FPS here. Just a few demons. Wait for the next hold. Bigger demons. Use a bolt. 39 FPS. Not bad. Getting the GP bottleneck. I need to shoot through these skulls. Flying skulls. There they are. They explode. Waiting for the next hold. Yeah, here it just dropped to around 35. Massive explosion there. Titan is here. It just dropped to around 29 for half a second. Look at the size of that thing. Fire the bolt. Need to destroy its armor. Bolt is effective. 40 FPS now. Oh no, it's attacking. 
I just need to land one more bolt to kill this thing so 29 to 45 fps during the cutscene fps was within a range of 32 to 42 I will be going through the exact same sequence on windows now this is raw gala running on windows 11 internal and settings for the game pacing, pacing and anti-lag settings enabled I have set the UMA buffer size to 7 GB Myla is running on BIOS version 341 I have installed Alas latest official GPU driver that adds support for Doom the Dark Ages Using a 28 watts manual profile all 3 power values set at 28 watts 720p resolution CPU boost disabled I switched to afterburn overlay as I wanted to show you the frame pacing graph in game settings 720p resolution full screen mode pacing disabled refresh rate set to 120 present from compute setting on chromatic vibration depth of field disabled frame gain set to nil using the faulty PC set of XCSS subscaler motion blur disabled texture pulse set to 2048 everything set to low load up cutscene first there's the cutscene Thirty-one to thirty-eight Very FPS. Are you seeing anything? On Bazaar Day, we were getting an FPS within a range of thirty-two to forty. No the performance difference is well within the margin of error. Jump into the seventh chapter. Yeah, I am in the courtyard. Man, the turret. Demons are right outside this gate. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Let's do this. Not observing any stuttering. Even during the explosion, frame pacing graph, it's a flat line. Firebolt is ready, I'll use it now. Massive explosion. 34 to 40 FPS. There is a flying skull. And they are exploding. Not slowing down the game. Hitting the GP bottleneck. More effects. I'm waiting for a Titan now. There it is. FPS here is around 31 on Bazite. When the Titan entered this courtyard, FPS dropped to around 29. On Windows, FPS dropped to around 31. Doing the same sequence. Again, the performance difference is well within the margin of error. No stuttering on both platforms, that's really good to see. It's a good experience. One more bolt, and this thing is down. There you go. So, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.